The story of the Mortal Engines takes place a couple of millennia after something that happened called the 60 Minute War, where basically the entire face of the Earth was changed in something akin to like a, an apocalyptic nuclear war that essentially wiped out most of us in 60 minutes. And then there were hundreds and hundreds of years of dark ages, and then civilization sort of dragged itself out of the ashes, and because the world was so unstable at the time with earthquakes and volcanoes that we caused, someone had the bright idea to put all of Earth's biggest civilizations up onto these wheels so that it can move around, and so the world stopped being the world and became a sort of hunting ground for the biggest, baddest predators. In short, in a a world of like moving cities and this crazy visual uh, spectac spectacles, you have this one girl on a mission to kill the man that killed her mother. When I read it, it was a few years after the first book had come out and by then Philip Reeve had written uh, three others. So, so I got to binge on, on a whole four book series in one go and, uh, and that, that's what I responded to and it was, I just thought, wow, this would be an incredible series of films. Only Peter and Fran and Philip and Christian could could be behind something like this. It's a uh, the scale of it, the the characters, the the depth of the story, everything. It's you just it's like it's like it's like the novel was written for them to turn into a movie. You know, it's just incredible. I read it from front to back uh, without a stop, and uh, it was a great read. You know, it was a and I thought the character moved from being this romantic hero to being something quite different. So there was a lot of scope there, a lot to encompass in one man. And I thought it would be a bit of a challenge, so I sort of jumped in. I was really, really excited when I got the screenplay. And as soon as I was up, because uh, obviously we read sides, it was very secret. Then we found out what it was and I read the books and um, blew my mind. And was, I was quite angry because I didn't know them. So I, I don't like being caught out like that. But um, immediately you could see the size of the vision that they had for it. and. Um, yeah, like a child. I was very excited. I love the unique world that Philip Reeve has created, and I love the all of the unique and individual characters in the film. I think the filmmakers really grounded the experience because they really treated us like family, and, and we were all on a, 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 the same level, and we all were kind of collaboratively working on the film. And um, and yeah, and so it, it really felt like an independent filmmaking with just amazing sets and, and more money that you usually have in independent filmmaking. As much as it just seems like this, you know, wild, crazy ride of a story, it has so many underlying themes that are very important and relevant to, to, to today. And so I really appreciated the fact that you, you know you can you can create a, a blockbuster film that has so much meaning and that has um, so much uh, redeeming qualities. This world is nothing that you've seen before in a movie. Like it's it, it's dystopian which you've seen and it's massive machines which you've seen and it's amazing characters and strong women and so we've seen all that. But to see it all packed into one film with these people behind it, it's uh, it's it's amazing.